Well, some think he has done an amazing job, but some, especially in the African-American community, have had questions about U.S. Congressman Tim Scott's work in his own community. In this special report, our own Laura Harris sat down with Representative Scott to talk about his race to D.C. despite the criticism. I believe the only hope we have of fixing this country is from the bottom up. This is Tim Scott. I'm happy to figure out how to serve you if we're talking about moving people forward. He's I'm opinionated. I mean, the fact of the matter is I think President Obama has not done a passing job. He's honest. I'm not going to have a conversation about things that don't matter. A self-proclaimed energetic, enthusiastic optimist who says he's aware certain people in the community don't agree with his stance when it comes to politics. Yeah, there's no doubt that being an African-American, do people in the news and, and in schools see me as an African-American leader and try to find a way to create a, 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 you know, a wedge at times and or use me as a bridge at times? Certainly. I'm more interested in where we're going than where we've been and who you think I am when you don't even know me. Oh, and did I mention he's pretty candid? We ought to be able to debate that without me being anti-black or, or him being pro-black. I, I think that I'm not anti-black, but I'm, not, I'm also not pro-anything. I'm pro-America. That's, that's what I'm pro. I'm not pro-an ethnic group. I'm pro this country. So It's no secret that since this freshman Republican congressman parlayed his county council seat into a spot as a U.S. congressman, he's been met with plenty of opposition from many who say his political views seldom represent African Americans in his district. A lot of people look at you and they say, Tim Scott is a Republican. Yes. So Tim Scott is not for us. Right. What do you say to that? Wrong. <laughs> and Congressman Scott takes that attitude with him to Washington. We ought to fight for what we believe in, fight for the cause and the philosophy that undergirds the cause. And then when you're done, cross the aisle. Have, have a conversation with someone who's not like you. Do you feel like you're carrying the weight of the African-American community here in Charleston on your shoulders? You know, I, I think I carry the weight of South Carolina on my shoulders, frankly, to some extent. I mean, you know, one of my things I always say is that we need to improve our reputation and increase our expectations. Despite the negative comments, the stall high grad says this community is close to his heart. For me, this is a cool deal because I get to serve the people who believed in me when there was very little reason to do so. In his first term, Mr. Scott says he's helped pass 27 job creating bills in Congress, pushed to lower the overall tax burden, and ultimately feels that he has made his community proud. That said, in the words of Tim Scott, the numbers don't lie. In Charleston County, Laura Harris, ABC News 4.